Yo, filmmakers, buckle up, because we're about to throw some pure fire into your timelines today. You ever feel like your edits need a little bit of extra pop? Say no more, because we indeed have you. We're not just dropping one, but two game-changing tools. Marker X Cinema Markers and Cinema X Film Titles. Think you've seen cool transitions before? Pfft. Forget that noise. Marker X Cinemarkers? Think hand-drawn awesomeness mixed with vintage film vibes. We're talking pre-K transitions, sick overlays, and sound effects that'll make your audience go wowza. Oh, and Cinemax film titles? It's like having Hollywood's best title designer crash on your couch for the night. We're talking pro-level, fully customizable, and sexier than a Justin Bieber hair flip. The best part? These puppies are tailor-made for resolve. No more compatibility headaches and endless tweaking. It goes drag, drop, bam, boom, bop, instant cool factor. Too cool for school. But hey, enough talking. Let's show these tools in action. Time to dive headfirst into Marker X Cinemarkers and blow your mind with these transitions. Okay, so once you've imported the Marker X pack into DaVinci, then comes the juicy part. You'll spot this folder structure that's packed with all your assets. First off, let's kick things off with the alpha transitions. The coolest part? These transitions are pre-keyed, which means that you can just drag them straight into the timeline, no green screen magic needed. It's like plug and play, but make it cinematic. Now, moving on to the overlays folder. This is where the real chaos begins. These are the markers that'll mess up your footage in the coolest way possible. Think of these as damage markers that add film scratches, burns, and other wild effects. Yep, you heard it right. 52 markers, all set to turn your footage into a gritty masterpiece. And wait, we're not stopping there. We've also tossed in 11 badass sound effects to amp up your transitions and make them sound as slick as they look. All right, let's drop a marker into the timeline for a transition. Uh, we've got a bunch of markers to choose from, and to be honest, they're all sick, but let's roll with this one for now. Now, here's a twist. Each marker is like 10 to 12 variations built into it, so one marker equals 10 markers, if you think about it. Cool, right? I'm gonna pick up one form from this marker, slap it between the clips, and bam! Instant transition magic. Now, let's add a sound effect. Just drag it under the marker, fade it out, and boom! Smooth as Oh yeah, YouTube. B -b 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 wait, let's try another marker, shall we? This time I'm headed over to the inspector tab and tweaking the composite mode to difference. Trust me, these markers look way more lit when you mess around with the composite modes like difference, screen, multiply, and color dodge. Okay, let's throw another sound effect in here. Just hit shift and alt, drag it to where you want, and bam, you got a copy. It's like magic for editors, I swear. Time to test out the alpha transitions. I'll drop into the timeline, tweak the composite mode to difference, and yeah, I think that's the vibe we're going for. Fire. If you prefer other modes, go for it, but difference is kind of different, if you know what I mean. This transition feels a bit too long though, so I'm just gonna speed it up to 400%. Ah, better. Now, let's trim it down a bit so it fits right at the start of the clip. Easy peasy. All right, last round. I'm gonna throw in two more markers and layer them up. Remember, each marker has like 10 to 12 variations inside, so the possibilities are endless if you mix and match creatively. Think of it kind of like Lego for editors. No two combinations will ever look truly the same. And let's roll it back to see the final magic. Oh yeah, that's cool. And that is how you can use Marker X Cinema Markers to create smooth, mind-blowing transitions that keep your audience hooked until the end. I mean, you're still here. You see what I mean? With those 52 markers, you might as well be playing in God mode. Your transitions are gonna hit so smooth that you're gonna be wondering how you ever edited without them in the first place. But wait, hold it. Right there, I s you. Don't click off. Before we dive into the Cinemax film titles, let's dive into the Resolve Store. You know, it's not all about the markers and titles, folks. We are talking a full arsenal that is gonna take you from drab to fab real quick. Our tools are like Swiss Army knives for filmmakers. Whether you're looking for color grading that is gonna make your footage pop or transitions that flow like a dream, we got everything you need. We crafted these tools out of just pure frustration of being on film sets and fumbling around in the dark not knowing what to do, so you don't have to. Trust me, we're changing the game. All right, folks, let's dive right into DaVinci. The easiest way to snag those Cinemax film titles is to simply drag and drop the .drfx file right into the Fusion page. Easy as pie, right? After that, just give DaVinci a good old quick restart and bada bing bada boom, you're good to go. Trust me, those titles will be sitting pretty in your effects panel, ready to elevate your edits. Like, oof, baby, how you pulling up with all those effects? 
But hey, if for some reason you're having a tough time with the .drfx method, don't sweat it. We got you covered. We have a backup plan. You can also install using the .setting files included in your 5 free Cinema X film title pack. If you follow the steps we laid out earlier, you'll be stacking those titles in no time. So there you have it! Two killer ways to get those titles up and running. Let's keep the momentum rolling and jump into how to use these bad boys to create some seriously dope videos. Let's drag one of these titles into the timeline and check it out. These titles are pre-built for you so that you have full control over every setting. Hit the Inspector tab to make the tweaks you want. Maybe let's turn it purple? Boom. And you can just adjust the size to fit your vibe. Now let's add another title and switch it up again. Change the color, resize it, play around. These titles are your playground after all, and it's like a kid in a candy shop. For example, you could even throw in keyframes to animate them if you want to spice things up. I mean, how cool is that? If you're feeling a bit lost with these steps, don't sweat it. Here's a shortcut for you. Go to where your Cinemax assets are and you'll see the Cinemax titles DRFX file. Just double click that bad boy and watch the magic happen. A pop-up will then appear in DaVinci, hit that install button, and BAM! The cinematic titles are now in your effects panel, ready to go. Locked and loaded, sir. Hey, hey, come here, check this out. The titles you see in the installer mirror what are going on in the Cinemax folder. Isn't that slick? Slicker than Elvis's hair, if I do say so myself. Just heads up though, I didn't install the fonts for one of these titles, so it's not showing up. Whoopsies. Just make sure you install all the fonts and you'll end up with the missing titles. Now let's pick a different one, tweak it a little bit, and show you how these can seriously elevate your videos. These titles are absolute game changers, bringing your projects to life all the while keeping your audience hooked. And that's a wrap my friends. You just peeped the Cinemax film titles that make your edits pop harder than buttery popcorn. Some could say it pops harder than popcorn in a hot pan. And if you enjoy what you just saw, make sure to subscribe down below. That button should be gray, not red should be gray not red there's a little bell like that if you're a real one we got an entire stash of dope content coming your way tips tricks and tools that are all gonna level up your filmmaking game so don't sleep on it probably wouldn't be comfortable anyway keep it locked and we'll catch you in the next one where the magic just keeps on rolling